CNBC parent uh, Comcast just out with quarterly results. Not necessarily a, a um, these metrics aren't necessarily what you look at, but just the normal bottom line and top line were both above expectations. 84 cents a share was 5 cents above expectations. Uh, revenue came in at 31 and a quarter billion. That was above estimates of 30.51 billion. A few other highlights from the release. The media uh, and studio revenues came in above expectations. Theme park sales roughly in line. Peacock paid subscribers year over year jumped 50 percent and there were three million net ads in the fourth quarter. First time uh, revenue is over a billion dollars. A uh, company raising its dividend by 7% uh, percent and boosting its buyback uh, to $15 billion. It is a multi-faceted uh, company. Um, you, we already knew, and it tickles me to death, that uh, for several reasons, uh, obviously, but worldwide box office, number one for the first time at uh, Universal since 2015 uh, on the strength of uh, Super Mario and Oppenheimer. And a good start, they're saying, for 2024. We're excited about Kung Fu Panda. Another I'm excited about that, too. Another yes. Despicable Me uh, and a Wicked. Um, some of the interesting things. So total revenue is up 2%. But if you took the growth businesses, which is broadband, business services, wireless, theme parks, studios, and streaming, that revenue was up 8%. So maybe it's not uh, accurate to say that, uh, that it's tough to find growth. There are parts of, uh, of the company that are growing very nicely. They do use, Comcast does, use the word consistent a couple of times. I guess that means flat. Adjusted EBITDA in the fourth quarter was consistent uh, with the prior uh, fourth quarter. Um, there, as usual, are, uh, there's, you know, you do see video customers because the company doesn't chase uh, low revenue uh, customers. You're continuing to see um, I guess you'd call it cord cutting, would you not, uh, Sorkin? That would be that? that would be the word, cord cutting. However, I mean, I think this is the this is the point that I would make, and I think you're looking at the stock actually up, up on sharply. the back of the news. Yeah. You're see, you're seeing total number of customers come down, and normally you'd say not not a good thing. But, but if you total can keep customer relationships, but, are but if, right, and but also if you can keep revenue either flat or going up at the same time as that's happening. Well, it it proves their thesis that they right. said they don't want unprofitable subscribers. You don't want to carry them along. Right. You just want the subscribers exactly. that are willing to pay for performance with broadband right. and things like that. And and I think that I think that's, yeah, that's it, the point. Remember, that they, they, there's two main uh, parts of the company now, and this other one, connectivity and platforms. That's what we're talking about. Fourth quarter revenue. Consistent at 20.4 billion, I guess. I mean that uh, basically flat. But you can find uh, you can find pockets of, of real uh, of real growth. And Peacock, according to the company, is the fastest growing uh, streaming entity. And, and I guess Brian yeah, Roberts something. points out what happened with the NFL Wild that was big. on Peacock. I bought. I had to pay one of the biggest nights on the internet ever, but, uh, and I think it brought in a lot of new. I had to pay. I had to become a Peacock. About, about three million, million, I think, but, according to some yeah, of the numbers yeah. that I was it's seeing. Only five ninety-five a month, I think. Well, the big issue, of course, is going to be yeah. just to put the caveat on it is how much do those customers stay, and what right. kind of churn do you see on those customers? One of the things they were doing, you saw the five ninety-nine per month. They also right. had a deal where they were trying to lock you in if they could for a year. I think and so if did. you pay I up, think I, think, I, I, I think about I think 30 bucks or something. Price. I think I did do right. that. Yeah. But all they need is one more yeah. game that I need to watch. Agreed. And, and, Agreed. And, you know. Is it worth it? I mean, if you spend 20 bucks on a movie, you can spend five bucks on a football game that, that you have for... Uh, you know, that you have for everything else that uh, I might find something else. Watch some Seinfeld or something. Stock right now up by just over 4%. Um, 45.60 last trade. Yeah, that... that uh, that's interesting because you never know whether stock there, there's little things in there yeah. that people that are, you know, sometimes you're looking for things to, that, that uh, because it's tough. It's, uh, some parts of the business are, are definitely tough.